Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. So I have a close up here of a lace wig so you already know what video this is going to be. Um, this here is a fake scalp 18 inch lace wig. This was actually my Thanksgiving hair and I don't know how I forgot to edit and upload this video but we are going to definitely slay from start to finish. So this is a look at what the wig looks like. As I mentioned this is a fake scalp lace wig. I believe it's 150% density which is perfect for holidays and family gathering as it is not too heavy and dense you get that fake scalp which makes it look super natural you get the elastic band which also helps it to be glueless and fit your head perfectly and you know we're gonna slay from start to finish so as you guys can see the elastic band is adjustable I kind of made it go as tight as it could and this is what the wig looks like when you first put it on now I'm gonna take shapers you guys know I love this spray I'm gonna spray it all over the hairline as well as a little bit in the parting I'm gonna take my electric hot comb and I'm gonna go ahead and press everything out now one thing I love is to prep my wigs before the install this makes for an easier and neater install and I don't know it just helps everything to come together perfectly once I go ahead and melt the wig down now I don't know if you guys can tell but the parting is super perfect even though it's a bit lighter than my complexion it looks so natural especially because most of our scalps are a little bit lighter than our complexions anyways now with the hot comb this is something that I didn't do years ago but I feel like I cannot live without someone DM'd me the other day and asked do I have to use a hot comb the answer is no I've just become accustomed to use it and I love what it does for my wigs and can we get a load of how amazing this looks once you elongate the parting so this one definitely came with deep parting i believe this is about six inches of parting going backward so you definitely can get a much more natural look when you go in with your rat tail comb and stretch the parting out as far as it can go now you guys can see how well the hot comb does to kind of lay everything down it helps to get rid of the flyaways it makes it look a little bit more melted as the root looks super bone straight now as amazing as the parting looks the hairline definitely could use a little bit of tweezing I went in a little bit I didn't get extreme but I just kind of wanted to break up the mundane and help it to look a little less boxy you can also add powder to the parting and this will help as well also it's good for me to note that I did not co-wash my wig beforehand because it came with the fake scalp I kind of felt like everything would work out a lot easier if I did not go in and co-wash but you definitely have have that option to do that as well and as you guys can see I'm gonna just take a bunch of clips and just pin the hair back as much as possible again this video was filmed almost a month ago actually it was over a month ago so I've definitely changed up a lot in my technique um, I've definitely been teaching myself how to do different techniques when it comes to install this way I would recommend um, to be like a no-no just because you guys can see I'm getting that got to be glued spray into the hairline way too much which makes for a little bit messy of an install but you're gonna see I'm gonna be able to finesse and bring it all together in the end also I love using the blow dryer on a cool setting it helps to um, pretty much adhere the wig and make it for a tighter hold if that makes any sense also make sure that you go ahead and cut and customize your lace around your ear this will help the wig to lay super flat and it just makes everything look so much better if you don't do this the wig literally will sit around your ear like it is right now which is not attractive and it definitely will help the wig to be a lot more clockable Now this is where error came into play. I applied all of this glue or got to be glued in my case around the hairline and then I used my eyebrow brush to go in and cut it out um, or the excess lace out piece by piece. Again you're going to see in the end that it all works out perfectly fine but here I just kind of was like I don't know what I'm doing everything looks messy and crazy but the 
silver lining with this is you're going to see how amazing it looks in the end and all this shows is pretty much if you make mistakes just continue on because at the end of the day a lot of the times it will definitely just come together super nice so you're going to see me cut out the opposite side and pretty much go in and fix it with a little bit of extra spray on top and make sure I blow dry and everything together. Be sure to also use a scarf and this is going to help to melt the lace in super super nice. So next up is baby hair. Sometimes I like to do no baby hair. Sometimes I like to do a lot of baby hair. And then sometimes I like to do what I like to call like my grown and sexy um, baby hair. This is where you kind of just do two pieces of baby hair or two swoops of baby hair. One above like the arch of your eyebrow on each side. And it makes for a little bit more of a subtle, classy, not even classy, just more of a subtle um soup or baby hair so that it's just not too crazy and i kind of finesse around the um ear tap or the sideburn area just so that you don't see where um my sideburn is it kind of helps it to blend a little bit more but again to each his own and you can definitely do whatever um you know suits you but you can kind of see that the wig is starting to come together as far as my install goes everything looks super flat and as long as I go in and add a scarf everything is gonna melt as I said before and look amazing also I've upgraded the way I do my sideburns so be sure to check out the last video I did and also the videos coming after this one and you'll see that the sideburns that I've been doing lately have been looking really 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 good and I've just been focusing on my craft 2020 is pretty much here and I really 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 want to work on getting my wigs as flawless as I can there are so many stylists out there that are slaying to the gods and I just want to match their fly when it comes to my own install I am not a stylist by profession I just am a hair enthusiast who loves to do my own hair and to have fun with it and you guys love to see me do it and to watch and follow along and you know I'm just hoping that you guys are grasping my concepts and it's helping you in some way to help to slay your own hair at home so I went ahead and added a little bit of heat protectant so that I can go ahead and press the hair out. Also, I let the scarf sit on for about 5 to 10 minutes. You don't really need that much time and you can see how amazing it looks all ready. Now if you can see little shiny spots that's pretty much excess glue or free spray sitting on the forehead. You can take a little bit of rubbing alcohol to kind of get that out and it'll work perfectly. Also a product like if you're going to do baby hair right there and soup around that area it kind of will cancel that out. I know that's kind of a cheat but that is sometimes what I do. I just do tons of baby hair and it'll kind of like work itself out automatically if that makes any sense. Now here's the final step where I pretty much just am going to go in and flat iron the hair. Again I did add a heat protected and I absolutely love the way this install came out. It was super beautiful. Again this was Thanksgiving so it was super subtle so there wasn't like you know va va voom you know around the dinner table trying to cook and prepare everything. It just looked nice, classy, sleek and subtle and I didn't even have to add any powder you know because of the fake scalp it was pretty much good to go you don't have to tint the lace you don't have to add any foundation powder or concealer or anything like that and you guys can see how awesome the shine or sheen is in the hair without it being weighed down or you know too oily so yeah give me a comment below 
Okay, so this is the pretty much the finished result. As you guys can see, I went ahead and bonded her down. I am going to go ahead and put on some makeup, and then from there, I will touch her up. But of course, the kitties are right here making a mess. Um, but you guys see, I just did a simple install. I kind of feel like when I overthink it, because today is Thanksgiving and I was trying to make it extra special, I do make more mistakes than when I am just like in my element and I just go for it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one from RPG Care. I absolutely love that um, the little plastic that the wig comes in actually has the deets of your wig on it. This one is 18 inches, 150% density, and there was six inches in parting space, which you guys can see looks super good, especially because they have that fake scalp situation going on. I was gonna do these pins because today is holiday. Um, it's Thanksgiving and I wanted to wear these, but I forgot to do like a side part. So I'm not sure if it'll look good to do like the girls on one side, my daughters, and then the boy. Um, I don't know, but I did pick these up, ordered, or I ordered these online. And one says Diamond, one says Dakota, and one says Dominic, and these are my three kids. So I absolutely love those. As far as the hair goes, um, I did not co-wash it. You guys know I love to, but this one was such an easy install, an easy, like, completely easy. I feel like the install would have looked so much better if I would have washed the wig first. I always feel like the install looks so much more better and natural and it just everything lays a lot better. But for the time's sake, I did not have time to dry so i think it came out good the only product i used on the hair was the heat protectant and that didn't give me any issues at all so yeah make sure you guys check out rpg hair i've worked with this company many times so you guys can definitely check out all of the content i have created for that company and all of the reviews i have thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying the holidays don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with your friends and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Dominic says smooches. And Dakota and Diamond also say smooches. So, peace.